Hi folks, Chuck McKay here. I'm here with Matt Shea and we're filming the next podcast so that everyone's aware of all the good things that are happening in Vernon. One of the great things that happened this week is our band. Our band has had two fantastic weekends where they've won uh, both competitions and we're going to talk a little bit about that. We also have great news from the state as they reactivated our $300,000 out of $500,000 for our budget. So the cut that we thought we were going to get and they told us we were going to get has been reduced by $300,000 thanks to the work of Mr. Ketnis, who did all the applications on that, and also Mr. Benedetto, who started a letter writing campaign in order to make that happen. So we got that good news yesterday, so it's very exciting. There's also more news coming out to parents that you need to be aware of. Uh, we're going to set out an emergency warning system just to see that our system's working, uh, and that will be next week. Uh, at 7 o'clock at night on the 25th so that you're aware of all that's happening and, and that, that's a, a, a big piece so that parents are aware as we move towards the winter months. There's also great news about some of our students being in the bands and uh, Sussex County bands and the junior band, uh, Sussex County junior band and also some great news about Artsonia. So let's get started with all the things that have happened just in the last five days. Okay. The theme for the week, of course, is music. Our music program is outstanding, and kudos to Mr. Taylor and everyone that's involved with the band right now for all the great things that they're doing, but you're going to see eighth grade students in the county band. You're also going to see all sorts of pictures from their competitions. This is really a music week. But first, here's the really big news that I was talking about just a second ago. Originally, the district was reduced by $502,000 from the state after our budget had been approved. So of course we were scrambling uh, because the budget had already been approved and this kind of cut was devastating. Mr. Benedetto and Mr. Kepnes appealed to the state through a letter writing campaign and an application from Mr. Kepnes. And the application was, it seemed like 300 pages long. And we just got the letter, as you can see, October 16th, uh, we just got the letter that said, your application request for 300,000 in addition to the general fund state aid has been approved. So we're receiving 300000 of the 500000 back. So needless to say, that was great news this week. Even better news. Look at this beautiful band. I mean, just remarkable. We see our color guard. We see the band. We see the directors. We see all the people that are involved in this magnificent group. Uh, this was shot at the Meadowlands. Is congratulations to the marching band, their first place achievement at the Yamaha Group 1 VA Champions. And, of course, they also won for Best Music and Best Color Guard. So this is one fantastic group. We're very proud of them. And this is them on the field. They look fabulous. Two weekends, two wins, two trophies. It doesn't get any better than this. They won in Somerville the week before, and then this past weekend, of course, that's them receiving the trophy down at MetLife Stadium. So we have a real champion band, and they're bringing home the cups and trophies, and uh, we're very excited about all of their winnings. Now, these are the 11 high school students who made the 2017 Sussex County High School Band. Uh, Erica McNally did not get pictured because she was busy doing something else today, but we got a picture of the rest of them outside on this beautiful day. Uh, Brianna and Matt and Elise and Freya and Brandon and Bryce and Ryan, Emily and Timothy. So we're delighted. We're very proud of all of you. You guys are fantastic. And here's the eighth grade all county band members and Kate and Adam and Kelly and Caitlin, Anne Marie, Mia, Wesley, Wesley, excuse me, sorry, Wesley, uh, Matt Rogers, uh, Lee, uh, Logan, and of course, Madison was not pictured. She was busy with something else today. But this is our great eighth grade all county band members. So, congratulations to all of them. They are superstars as well. And again, what a wonderful band program. Congratulations to the band teachers, Miss Young, uh, Mr. Taylor, and Mr. Bohm and all the wonderful teachers that are involved in the music program. We're truly blessed in this district. Okay, so tomorrow night, Saturday, October 21st, DECA is, uh, is sponsoring the Harvest House dinner. Now, this dinner is crucial to Harvest House. Harvest House uh, needs funds. 
Uh, they perform a great service for our community. They have been feeding people for years through this program, and right now they need more food. They need more money in order to run that program. It's $12 for adults. Children and seniors are $8, and if you bring a family of four, it's only $25. There's going to be a 50-50 raffle, uh, and the money will go towards Harvest House as well, and the DECA students are doing everything. They're supplying the labor. They're working on the desserts. DECA does not get a dime from this. The whole idea is to help Harvest House with this great responsibility that they have with our community. And there will be live music, so it should be a lot of fun. It's at the Vernon High School Cafeteria. We just heard this morning that we have an Artsonia finalist. Now, Artsonia is an art program where uh, students, uh, teachers submit students' artwork, and then a panel chooses key ones from across the nation, and then you vote on them via the computer through the Artsonia website. And Julia is a finalist, and she's an eighth grade artist, and this is her picture. So you can go on Artsonia and vote for Julia. The fall show at the high school is coming up. Tickets are now on sale. The show is Noises Off, which is a real crack up. You're going to love this one. And uh, you can buy your tickets uh, from the book ticks, uh, dot com, which, we, uh, which we've done before. So the show is November 3rd and 4th only. It's not like the spring show where there's more shows. It's just two shows. They're at 730 on November 3rd and 4th up at the high school. And you can get your tickets online. All right. Jam night. Jam night is this Thursday coming up. Please, please do not miss it. You can see a picture there of last year's jam night um, with that uh, wonderful group of guidance counselors who will be working with our seniors and our parents in order to do exactly what that picture is doing, which is to get our students to apply online. If you're a parent and you're struggling with a child who is not finishing the applications, this is your night. If you are a senior who's worried about making sure that the essay is right, or making sure the application is right, or making sure the FAFSA is right, this is your night. The goal of the guidance department at the high school is to get the students there and get them through the process and get them applying to the colleges before they leave. So it's up at the high school in the gym. There's pizza and soda, and there'll be a whole team there to help everyone and every family that comes. Again, Thursday, October 26th, up at the high school. This past week, we've had parent conferences and book fairs at most of our conferences. This is a shot of the Lounsbury one. Uh, the book sales are a wonderful way for stu uh, parents and grandparents to buy books while they're there hearing all the great things about their children. I just want to give a heads up, Walnut Ridge parents, you will have a book fair and the conferences, and they will be November 6th and 7th. That's for the Walnut Ridge pre-K. Okay, and finally this week, my friend Matt Shea was working with our 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students on digital citizenship. This is National Digital Citizenship Week, and he worked with the students about being responsible online. So this is Matt working with the students, uh, making sure that our students are safe and doing the right thing when working online. So a great program was had by all. Okay, folks, so those are the great things that happened this past week, and most importantly, what's going to happen next week. We have jam night next Thursday night where the seniors can get together with their families and people from the high school, guidance department, as well as English teachers, social studies teachers, and other people that can help them get that application in. A great night. Don't miss it. And then, of course, this Saturday night, tomorrow night, what you have is the Harvest House. And, and I want to appeal to everyone to try to help with Harvest House. If you can't come, maybe uh, send money in for one ticket or two tickets. The Harvest House needs, needs our help at this time of year. This year seems to be a particularly hard year for the Harvest House. So we're pushing for that. And again, I want to thank the DECA students for all their hard work. Uh, not a dime of it goes to DECA. They're really helping Harvest House out. So that's all the news this week. We have a bunch of things coming up. I know that we'll have a lot more to report out on. So have a great weekend and enjoy your week next week.